Okay, boys, we are back here with another episode of our BA Pro series, and this episode is a massive one. First of all, we're doing the trade deadline, but I wanted to show you guys my stats and also the upcoming games because they are massive ones. So if we look here at the team, and let's view the lines, nothing's changed. Uh, we still have Jerwain, Suzuki, Caulfield, Dad, and off Dvorak, myself. Uh, and then these guys down here. On defense, we still have Romanov, Petrie, Subban, Weidman, and Clegg, and David Savard. Between the pipes as well at Carey Price. So nothing's changed on that end. But let's look at our team stats because I realized I hadn't shown you guys our team stats at all. So Christian Dvorak leads our team. Then we have Dadanov, um, Suzuki, and then myself. We're plus seven. We have 17 penalty minutes. A little more than I would want, but not nothing crazy. We have 22 goals and 19 assists in 56 games. I'd say that's a pretty, pretty good rookie season if you do ask me. And if you look in the entire league, let's just look at points-wise. Austin Matthews with 69 points in 57 games. Kucherov with 67 and uh, 56. Where is McDavid? McDavid was 61 and 57, so not his real life pace. And then the leading goal scorers are Patrick Kane and Austin Matthews. Kane with 36 goals in 54 games. That's pretty good. Uh, Matthews, obviously, 36 goals in 57 games is very good as well. Um, so if we look at rookie skaters now... For points, yes, we are up there for points. We are currently leading, but Oleg Tulipov, this man on Seattle, guys, he has 37 points in 57 games. So we are we're winning the rookie race, but it's pretty close. And we also have the same amount of goals, basically. Um, also, Morozov here with 34 points. Cool Perfetti in here. Owen Power, Matty Beniers, Alexander Holtz. So, so it's a pretty good rookie class this year. And we are we're winning the race, but it's it's definitely close. Uh, looking at the best goalies in the league, Frederick Anderson with 27 uh, wins, Peter Morazic on Toronto with 26 wins, Connor Helbuck with 26, Vasilevsky with 26, Percy Kemper with 26, Igor Shesterkin with 24, and these guys here, uh, bro, Carl Vomelka has 24 wins, are you kidding me? And he has decent numbers for uh, EA as well, Vasilevsky though, look at these numbers, the 930 save percentage and a 2.03 goals against, that's insane, he'll probably win the Vezina if he keeps that pace up. Um, so that's what um, the league looks like. And now I got to show you guys because this is very interesting. So I'm going to go to the calendar and just turn your eyes to the bottom right of your screen here. Look at the standings there. So we have a game up against New Jersey, Philadelphia, and Ottawa. I usually don't play all th like three games in a row. But in this episode, I'm going to. And then we're going to go down to the trade deadline and see uh, what happens there. That'll be the end of this episode. But if we look here at the standings... Um, we have 60 points in 56 games, okay? So we're fighting with Ottawa, um, who is at 60 points in 57 games. So that's a massive, massive game there to keep us in a wild card spot. But also, if we look over here in the Metro Division, the Devils have 59 points in 56 games. So they're only one point behind us. And then you look at the Flyers, and they're also only one point behind us. So I don't normally do this, guys, but these are three huge games for Montreal. We got to look at taking... I don't know, we got to take all of them, to be honest, if we want to secure our playoff spot. And even then, we're not secured, right? Because the trade deadline's still here. We have another game against New Jersey here. Like, these are huge, huge games for us. So, I'm going to play all three of them. And uh, let, let's, let's, um, I'll just bring you guys along, because I don't want you to accuse me of, uh, you know, coming out and coming back in. So, here we go. Brendan Gallagher, there he goes. He scores instantly. First period. Alexander Holtz gets him back within one, but then Dadanoff on the power play is going to put us up by one. Second period here, three to two for Montreal. Love to see that. Let's jump into this one. All right, here we go. We are in the Prudential Center and we are up by one, but this game is far from over, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not taking any chances with this. I'm playing good defense, getting pucks out of our zone, and maybe we'll get a little bit of offense going here as well. Romanov finds me. Here we go. Oh, I thought that the guy back who was coming to the point was actually our defenseman, but I realized at the last second, so I had to pass it away. <laughs> there we go, good four strike. Dad enough in the slot. Oh, there we go. Big hit from me. Opens up the one-timer, and Dadanoff gets his second goal of the game. Give a tertiary assist to myself off a great four-check play right here. Look at this. Against the boards, bang, hits him. Puck trickles out. Dvorak finds Dadanoff, and this line continues to produce for the Montreal Canadiens. There we go, off the draw, we poked that away. Now let's keep this puck down into the zone here, man. Waste a little time without wasting time, if you know what I mean, boys. But Jack Hughes, coming into the zone now. Hughes, to the center to Brat. Big save from Trey Price there. High danger chance, but Price is making, uh, keeping us in this one for now. There we go, Dadnoff. Dadnoff finds me. 
We're gonna get that short side. Oh, it rings it off the bar, man. That short side is our weapon in this uh, this series, dude. We're always we're always trying to snipe it short side. All right, here we go. We're on the penalty kill now. I'm not sure who took the penalty, but uh, I don't appreciate that. Brad into the zone. Ooh, and Carey Price makes a good save. I tried to get over there, Carey. I'm sorry. I'm not a traditional defender. And Dadnoff's one goal away from a hat trick, so uh, if we're out there with them, we're going to try to find him for sure. Here we go. Kill the penalty off, boys. Kill it off. Oh, no. There's a goal here. Ah, and it's a power play goal for Nico Hiche. 15-38. He scored at 15:38, and now it's still 15:38, and the 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 puck's in the uh, defensive zone somehow. Come on, find me, bro! I was up for uh, the breakaway pass. Dadnoff in that corner down there kicks it out to the slot for some reason. Ooh, McLeod gives a good opportunity there, but he gets hit off the puck, and that puck comes up to me now. Here we go. Get it out of the zone. Let's go, Montreal. Trying to drop that into the center. Oh, bad play from me. Should have just kept it around. Maybe rimmed it around the boards, but that's bad. They come down the other way, and Carey Price bails me out there. Thank you, my man. Dor Dvorak. Christian Dvorak. Dvorak. Come on, get it up to me. Yep, Dvorak. Into the slot to P.K. Subban, who's going to score. That's an assist for us. P.K. Subban, sixth, and we regain our two-goal lead. Weidman up to Dvorak. Dvorak. Tries to dangle, but Dadnoff picks that up. We gotta try to find Dadnoff for the uh, the hat trick if we can. Dadnoff, ooh, comes out, big, gives it to PK, PK to me. Dadnoff with that puck, oh, but uh, Mackenzie Blackwood makes a good save for New Jersey. Is Mackenzie Blackwood injured in real life? Because I swear their goalies are Vitek Vanacek right now, and oh, maybe their backup is Mackenzie Weger. I don't know. But New Jersey was playing so well, and I don't even know if they had Blackwood between the pipes for him. I don't know. But in this universe, he's here. And uh, they're fighting for a playoff spot with us, so... Dadnoff into the zone, finds me. We're going to drop that for Dadnoff. One-timer! Oh, but Mackenzie Blackwood makes an absolutely incredible sprawling save. And uh, Dadnoff is snake-bitten when he's looking for his hat-trick there. Here we go, Dvorak in the zone, ties him up. We try to get there, but uh, that puck squeaks out and falls to New Jersey. Severson now. Severson gets hit, and Ty Smith picks it up. Smith to Kubalik. Kubalik. Sharon Govich with that puck over the blue line. And an easy save for Carey Price, who's going to play that out. And we're going to break that puck out of the zone. Dadnoff now loses that puck in the neutral zone. Kubalik picks it up. But we're going to strip him. And we're going to try to dump it in, but we can't quite get it in there. And Kubalik picks that up from us. Thomas Tatar now with the puck. Former Montreal Canadian gets stripped by P.K. Subban. Dadnoff. Oh, I was away, Dadnoff. I was away, my man. We get that puck still, though. Over to... Dvorak, that maybe that was a bit too unselfish of a play. We should have ripped one right there, maybe. But Dvorak with that puck. Dvorak. We're going to cover for our defenseman here. And uh, close in on Thomas Tatar. Gap control is everything. Oh, no! And if you're in the real world, boys, that, that wouldn't happen to you. But gap control, even in uh, this game, young kids out there, work on your gap control because it'll help your goalie out. <laughs> I speak from experience. Anyways, here we go. Montreal. Getting that puck out of the zone. We're going to go off for a change. And uh, some to our next shift. Oh, we're on the power play right now with 3.50 left in this one. Basically, four minutes. We're going to shoot off that draw. Why not? It gets blocked, though. Drawing to Suzuki. Suzuki to Niederreiter. Niederreiter. Caulfield to me. One-timer. No, it gets blocked by Kwakanen. How do you say his name? Kokanen? I don't know. We're not even forechecking on the power play right now because we're, we're, we're ahead on the score and Coach doesn't want to risk it, I guess. Martin St. Louis playing that defensive style of hockey right now. Here we go. Trying to get into the zone. Kubelik on us. We're going to get in. Oh, I tried to send it back door to Suzuki, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. We don't need to score here. We just need to not concede a shorthanded goal. Because we're, we're killing two minutes off the clock regardless. So let's wait for our teammates. Wait for our teammates. Get into the zone. And here we go now. Looking, looking. This is Caulfield in the center. Oh, it takes a shot, but that's saved there. Need a rider with that puck now to Drouin. Drouin sends it over to me. Oh, get the puck, get the puck. Come on, Bruce. Got to work better than that, my man. The offensive zone. We can't be turning the puck over that easily, Brucey. Caulfield gets that puck. Caulfield to me. We're going to get that over to Nick Suzuki, but he just traveled into the corner for some reason. Ah, oh, good opportunity there. Goes a miss. As Montreal has a bit of a lapse in a communication. And now New Jersey coming the other way. One timer. Ooh, off the bar. And gets out of play with two minutes left on the clock. Montreal looking to seal the deal on this one here. We're going to simulate. 
and come on boys this is a big two points here and we get them we win in regulation so we don't give them any points and that's massive now it's on to philadelphia okay boys here we go we're in the third period of our game against philadelphia and we are up three to two again in this one so montreal showing up for very very big games here uh you know if you guys remember philadelphia huge game uh they are in the metro and they're looking to take a wild card spot off us they're about i think they're they're one point behind us so uh you know this is a huge game uh, and we gotta win it, you know? So, uh, we're gonna go out there and do our best. There we go, big hit from Christian Dvorak there. And that puck gets picked up. We're gonna get that over to Dadnoff. Dadnoff with the shot! And then he's gonna score there to give us a two-goal lead. This second unit, man. We have such a good forecheck. No teams can handle us. And Dadnoff is a goal-scoring machine in the last two games. Atkinson with that puck to Hayes. Hayes to Sandheim. Sandheim with the puck cruising into the slot. Nobody's trying to touch him or anything. Dadnoff picks it up though after Kerry makes a save. Kitchen Dvorak to Dadnoff. Dadnoff drops it to me. We're going to find Dadnoff again. He gets that puck down low. We're going to get that back to the defense. They send it back to me. We're in the slot. Take a shot. Why not? Ryan Ellis picks that puck up off the rebound though. Weidman finds me. We're crisscrossing with Dvorak at the blue line. Then getting it back to P.K. Subban, to Weidman, Weidman, to Dvorak, Dvorak, in the slaw, tried to find Dadanoff there, but uh, Hayes picks that puck up. Kim Atkinson, three on one against P.K. Subban, ooh, but Carey Price makes a good save off James Van Riemensek right there. We're trying to pick that puck up, and luckily our defense come out to help us. And now here we go, Montreal away. Two on two, well, two on three, basically. Dadanoff tried to make a good thing happen right there. Fortunately, Carter Hart makes a big save for his team. Subban with that shot. Tries to get through traffic, but it gets blocked in front. Kim okay, Atkinson coming the other way for Philadelphia to Kevin Hayes. Hayes to Atkinson. Ooh, that goes off the side of the net, though. Carey Price doesn't quite have to make it save, but he was there nonetheless. Caulfield on the ice. We're going to get off here as he crosses the blue line. Montreal just, just drawing time out on that clock there. To Owen Tippett, newly acquired from Florida. There we go, we got that puck coming up. Well, not newly acquired, I guess, at the start of the season or so. We're going to burn that guy. And get a shot, low shot. Dvorak with the rebound. Doesn't take a shot, though. And Dadnoff behind the net. Montreal's working behind the net. Dadnoff finds me. Coming out. Rip that. Low blocker. That's her 23rd goal of the season. And we're up by three in this one. Let's go here, boys. Petrie coming into the zone. Off my goal. Petrie. Yep, just work down low, my man, to Dvorak, and Carter Hart's going to cover that up. But good job, boys. Offensive zone draws. You can never complain about getting a, a face-up in the offensive zone, man. It's always always a good thing. 5-2 lead for Montreal. Five minutes left in this game. Looking like a, a, a clear result, but, uh, you know, it's not jinx anything quite yet. Well, that's a bad pass by me. Dangerous pass. But Petrie handles it well. And Dadnoff. Dadnoff. Ah. I tried to sneak in behind the defense, but no cigar there. Petrie. Did you room it around? Yep, that's good too. There we go. Getting over. Looking to find Dadnoff one timer. He just takes a one timer off that and gets his second of the game. We get our second assist of the game. Montreal is cruising to this victory tonight, baby. Woo! Dadnoff is ripping them. Hayes now down low. Takes a shot on that, but Carey Price makes a good save there, holding his angle, staying on his post. Fuck just hit some, man. Good save from Carey right there. Dvorak wins this draw. I'm bolting. He does not win the draw. Van Riemsdyk now with a shot, and Carey once again makes a save, and he's going to cover up. Same thing, Dvorak, you win that draw to Petrie, I'm bolting to try to get this uh, this breakaway pass. He does not win the draw, once again, Van Riemsdyk to Ruda, Ruda with that puck, he loses it, and that, that's my puck, Dadnoff, that's my puck, we got it. Since Dadnoff took the same route as me, we don't have anybody to help us out. <gasps> Rebound, what a save from Carter Hart, are you joking me, bro, that is nuts. Holy smokes! In front, Dadnoff to me, we're gonna take a backhand shot. Bad shot from us, but we drew a penalty, or somebody drew a penalty on the ice there. And our power play is gonna go to work. We poke that away. Oh, I was I was looking for my breakaway pass, bro. Alright, let's 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 just let's just play smart here, guys. We're on the power play. Nothing to be worried about, but let's just get this puck in and set it up. Let's set it up now. 
Drew Wayne into the slot. To Caulfield, what a save. Are you kidding me, Carter Hart? Holy, this guy's playing his heart out, no pun intended. That was nuts, dude. We're going to get sat. Two minutes left in this one. I mean, that's got to be it, right? Oh, no, Coach is going to give us another shift. Martin St. Louis. I mean, I don't really need it, bro, but uh, I appreciate it. PK Subin now. Yeah, this game's just winding down here, boys. Subin. Oh, just get it in deep, Subin. No need to do anything crazy. Atkinson to JVR. Okay, Price forced to make another save. That's all right. Proveroff to Atkinson. Atkinson trying to make it into the slot. Proveroff. Oh, that puck gets tipped. And they're going to score. That's such an unnecessary goal there, man. All Subban has to do is just dump that in as soon as he crosses the red line. But he tries to make a good play, or he tries to make an offensive play, and uh, they're going to come down and score. doesn't matter. You know, we still win this game, so I'm not worried about it. But uh, poor, poor play from P.K. Subban. We still win the game, and we have one more up against Ottawa. And, uh, you know, we've done our part here, but these are still really, really big points against Ottawa. Although we've done our part, we still have to try our best to finish them off. All right, boys, here we go. Final game of the video. And then we're going to go to the trade deadline. So don't leave just yet if you're still with us here. We're going to look at the trade deadline after this one. Big interception there off the draw. Trying to get into the zone. Oh, no, but we don't quite get the get going there. Dadnoff shot off the mask there. Yes. So we are doing the trade deadline. I'm going to show you guys the lines before I simulate and then after as well. Um, because, uh, you know, well, you guys saw the lines at the start of the video, so maybe... Ah, whatever. I'll just, I'll just fly through them real quick again. But yes, the trade deadline's upon us, so I am looking forward to that. Should be... Uh, I hope our GM makes some good moves. Moves to make us a playoff team, you know, because I want to play in the playoffs, obviously. And right now we're in a wild card race, so it could be fun to, to make some play... to get some playoff action going. Austin Watson coming into the zone. Takes a shot. Jake Allen makes a good save. We have Allen. Oh, yeah, because we had a back-to-back. -back, so Allen's between the pipes for this one. Carey played against Philly. So, I mean, Jake Allen's having a good game, though. Yes, coach, I know. Go score a goal. I got you. Don't worry. There we go. Good win from uh, Christian Dvorak. Petrie. Pass the puck up, Petrie. What are you doing, you fool? Batherson with a shot. Oof, good save, though, from Jake Allen. All right, let's break this puck out. I'll show you boys how to do it. Here we go. There you go. Just like that. Ah. Uh, but they're 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 collapsing, man. They're trying to they're trying to get a win here. All right, the Senators. They're pinching for sure. There we go. We break in around Thomas Shabbat. Low shot. Get that rebound in. Yes, we do. And guess who it is? It's me to Dad and off, bro. This connection between these two is massive, bro. I'm just getting so many assists off Dad and off, just crashing the net, or you know, just taking absolute blistering one timers, dude. Dad and off's a great player to play with and be a pro. There we go, big forecheck from me again. Dadnoff with that puck. Dadnoff. Dadnoff finds me. Man, there's nothing open, is there? Dadnoff, back to me. Low shot, tip, and it's Dadnoff again! Oh my god, dude, me to Dadnoff. This connection is nuts, bro. Oh my god, I love playing with Dadnoff. I love Russia, let's go, baby. What a play. He passes it to me, and then where does he go? He goes straight to the net. He screens the goalie, he gets a tip, and that puck goes in the back of the net. Good stuff, Dadnoff. Okay, we're 4 on 4 here for two minutes now. Me and Christian Dvorak out here. Dadnoff, nowhere to be seen. That's tough. Romanov tries to find me, but Steven Lorenz, oh, this Ottawa team has completely turned around. Oh my god, Alex Dabrinka gets smoked. Dvorak... Dvorak tries to get that through Josh Manton, but the big body there blocks that. And Dvorak, or sorry, Dabrinkit. There's a lot of names to start with D in this uh, this game here. Rim that around, rim that around. No. Timmy Stutzla and uh, Alex Dabrinkit making our lives difficult out here. Steven Lorenz. We poke that off him. We got that puck. Get it out of the zone. And we got to get off. No, Romanov. You have to move that puck. Dvorak was wide open there, bro. In front. Stutzla. Oh, no, no. What a diving save from Jake Allen. We have that puck. We're going to get that out, and we're going to get off, man. We're dead tired. Shane Pinto has that puck. Up to Lorenz. Lorenz dumps it in. And we're going to pick that up. Here we go. Dadnoff. Dadnoff with it. Dadnoff. Oh, gets stepped up on. But we get that puck into the zone. Coming out. Scoring. Yes. And that's our 24th of the year. We have a 5-1 to one lead now. I know it's cheese, boys. But it was there. I have to take it when it's there, you know? I don't want to look for it all the time. But if it's there, I might as well just dunk it in, you know? Dvorak up to me. 
We're gonna drop that back for Dvorak. One-timer! And we are just dissembling. Or what? What is the word? Hang on. I don't know. We're, we're just breaking down the Ottawa Senators right now, bro. They don't stand a chance in this one. We came to play in the third period, as we always do. There's a simulation goal. It's for Montreal. Of course it is. It's Brendan Gallagher getting in on the action, man. And just everyone just... You know, working to destroy our Atlantic Division opponent, and they're in the uh, they're in the race with us. So you know, we kind of have to. We can't show them any mercy. There we go, Chris Weidman, one timer. Oh, but Forsberg makes the actual pretty good save right there. Dvorak wins that draw. We're gonna get that over for Dad. Oh my God, dude, what a win right there, man. He pushes. So I get into the open ice and just send it over for Dadnoff, who's going to score a hat-trick. <laughs> this second line. Dude, don't even put me up there with uh, Nick Suzuki and uh, Cole Caulfield, man. I love this second line. Look at this. Just put it over, and Dadnoff just rips it in. A wide open net. Easy money right there. Oh my god. This team is elite, bro. Here we go, boys. We are on the power play right now. Four full two minutes. Uh, we're, we're looking to set up some offense here. I mean, we don't really need any. It's 8-1. to one, But uh, we might as well, right? There we go. Hoffman with that puck. Hoffman to Drouin. To Suzuki. Oh my god, dude. Montreal just dismantling. That was the word I was looking for. Dismantling the Ottawa Senators. Mike Hoffman gets in on the action. Evgeny Dadnoff has been the leader for us. Oh, this has just been an insane game. And uh, the Ottawa Senators get a power play here. And Coach is putting me out there for the penalty kill. I'm not sure why. Because I don't kill any penalties, but, uh, you know, that's all right. Josh Manson with that puck. Oh, and they're going to score, man. Come on. No, that's going to that's gonna put my penalty kill rating down because whoever was coming on for me took a freaking, you know, did a bad change. And then my penalty kill rating is going to go down and, you know, coach is going to be all mad at me. Ugh, nonsense. Let's just get that in deep. Dvorak with that puck. Josh Manson picks it up. Connor Brown now. Connor, you should have you should have uh, left for Washington like you did in the real world. We're just gonna get off, bro. There's no reason not to. We have no energy. A minute left in this game. We're up nine to two with a minute left in this game. So we win that one. Obviously, destroy the senders, and we go three for three in huge games. That's massive for our rankings in the standings. I'm gonna show you guys all that stuff. We're gonna get to the trade deadline, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the main menu. Okay, boys, so here we go. We are in the locker room, and the trade deadline is just one uh, day away. I'm going to show you guys the lines real quick. This is what they look like. They haven't changed at all. I don't think they have, at least. But uh, just to show you guys who's on what lines, so that we can see uh, kind of, you know, if anybody gets moved or anything like that at the trade deadline. So here we go. We're going to simulate a day. It'll take a while to simulate, but I'll be here with you guys through it all. If you see it in the top, uh, the top right there, uh, our points in the last few games have been absolutely crazy right now. James Sabalski, shut up. Uh, yeah, it's been crazy how much we've been winning. The trade deadline is upon us, though. James Sabalski, shut up. And uh, let's see, did we make any moves? No. No. Dadnoff's gone? Dad, Dadnoff's gone, boys. We traded away Dadnoff, and we didn't even get anything. Andrew Way? Why? We're we're such a good team. What is what is our management doing, dude? Kent Hughes, what are you doing, bro? Am I tripping? I'm not tripping, am I? They're not injured. So we traded away Jonathan Drouin and Evgeny Dadnoff. For nobody who made our... Oh, is Paul... No, Paul Byron is already on the team. Yeah, he hasn't played a game, yeah. What the hell, bro? We traded away our best producer this year, basically. In the last few games, Dadnoff has been tearing it up, and we trade him away for nothing? Coach. I mean, I mean, not coach. GM, what are you doing, bro? Okay, I'm going to simulate up to this and see if anything changes here. Oh, wait, maybe it does. No, that wasn't, that wasn't long enough, I don't think. James, I, I don't need you right now, James. You're... Oh, no, nothing changed. So we got nothing. Wait, did we get... No, Matthias Norlander was already here. Kale Clegg, did we pick him up? No, he was already playing for us. Oh, that pisses me off, man. We were having such a good run, and now our simulation is going to be awful. 
because uh, we trade away Dadanoff, bro. Just to show you guys, hang on, I want to see what team he went to. Um, but just to show you guys, Dadanoff was here with me. He's not on the team anymore, yeah. So it was me and Dadanoff at the top with the Borak because our second line is godly. Um, but he's not here anymore, which is very disappointing. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna go to the NHL and try to see, you know, if anybody on our team looks different, but they don't, they look the same, so I don't know what happened, we traded them away for picks or something, that's super disappointing, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go try to find Dadnoff. Okay, and actually, the very first team I turned to, Evgeny Dadnoff is here, boys, he got traded to Nashville, so is there any big names missing, Eli Tolvin is still here, no, there are, there are, I mean, they all look fairly similar, so... Dadnoff got traded to Nashville. I don't know what we got in return. Maybe some picks or something. But that's super disappointing. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Disappointing end to an incredible episode. We've, uh, you know, we've kind of extended our lead in the Calder race. You know, if you guys like what you saw, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. There's a bunch of different series going on on the channel that you guys can check out if you would like to. But that's it for me, guys. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.